Whoa! Survival horror action. What the heck is that? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I'm Michael McCrudden. This is David Walpole. Mm. And welcome to Iowa, where me and Mike are gonna overload you with some information. So we got a story for you guys. Have you ever woken up in the morning and you've misplaced something? Like your car keys. Or like your watch is missing. You know, or like one of my friends, uh, I'm not gonna name any names. Uh, he basically left his, oh, he left school and left his car at school. Who's that? Don't ask, I, I can't say. It's, I'm not gonna say anybody who works here, but but it's definitely awesome. Now, a little something bigger than car keys went missing in Turkey That's overnight. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a 22 ton bridge just vanished in thin air. Just gone, how, okay, how do you lose a 22 ton bridge overnight? <laughs> I'm just worried about the guy whose like job was to, to watch the bridge, do the toll booth. They, they have jobs to watch bridges? I mean. Or someone's got a view, like a, a lake sad condo in a <laughs> lake sad condo. I don't know show. what things are like in Turkey, but apparently bridges are getting robbed left, right, and Center. Absolutely, and you know the funny part is, is this actually the theft happened over water. How do you do that? What do you got to get some boats and like walk up? I don't know. That's crazy. One day the bridge was there, the next it was missing, and they don't have any clues to who stole the bridge. The only thing that was left was like a crumb, like the Grinch sort of style, like there was metal bits and debris. That was it. Who in their right mind would steal a twenty-two? Ton anything. Like, not like the thing's gonna be reused and no one's gonna notice it. And who has the skills and the tools to do it? So, actually, Mike, to be perfectly honest, they theorized that this bridge might have been stolen by scavengers. I mean, quite obviously. They estimate that the bridge itself was estimated for $11,300 in Canadian. Is that a lot of money in Turkey? I don't know. Is it? Did you say 11,000 bucks? Yep. I'm no mathematician, but if you break that down, that's like 500 bucks per ton. I mean, think about it too. You might need more than one guy to do this. <laughs> I'd like to think so. Yeah. This is actually turning into a trend. This isn't the first time it actually happened. No. This has happened, what, in uh, Czech Republic a couple years ago. There's like a 10 ton bridge was stolen. So how many dudes do you think it would take to steal this bridge? Well, I'm gonna do like some simple calculations here. I'm gonna need at least 100 lifters. And like, at least we need like, I don't know, 10 trucks to put these pieces on. Absolutely, that's transportation costs. And then you've got like, at least 10 guys that need to do this, some mm -hmm. cutters and things For like that. Sure. Yeah. Welders or engineers. This really isn't turning out to be a very profitable business, if you ask me. I think these guys should divert their skills elsewhere. Why not just steal one of Trump's towers? I bet there's more money in those. Okay, so if you had one night to steal anything you'd want from the public eye, what would it be? 